Hi everyone, do you think Java needs to catch up with modern programming trends, especially with compared with Kotlin? In this video, we will see one hidden feature that might change our view of this topic. Java records and Kotlin data classes help developers create simple data holding classes efficiently. Java introduced records in Java 14, Kotlin introduced data classes in version 1.1. Both aim at simplifying coding structures in their respective languages. Let's check a few apparent similarities and differences between Java records and Kotlin data classes. In Java, in Kotlin, we declare them using the record keyword and data class respectively. Then we assign the class name. In this example, we are using point as the class name. Finally, we add all the fields and types between the parentheses. In Kotlin, to compile it into an actual Java record, we need to annotate the data class with add JVM record. It is not required, but we want to have both as similar as possible for comparison purposes. Now let's see how can we use both in the simplest way. We can create an object in both cases using the provided constructor. An important note here is that calling data classes have more flexibility in their constructor with default values, name arguments, and mutability using the var keyword instead of val. Additionally, coding data classes provide a copy method that allows us to create a new object based on a previous one by overriding only values when need to change. And that's going to be available soon in Java records with the JEP468 or with expressions. We can see an example of what it will look like, but the syntax still in experimental mode so that it can change. This is just a reference. With the possibilities in Kotlin data classes, we feel that Java is always playing catch up with Kotlin. And that is partially true in terms of syntax and solve features. As developer, we need to understand what is happening at least one level from where we usually operate. Let's start analyzing what the bytecode generated by a Kotlin data class looks like. Besides the constructions and fields, the compiler generates to string, equals, and hash code methods. In the generated to string method, we can see what the coding compiler generated. A few invoke virtual methods to call string builder to append the result. Similarly, with the hash code method, we invoke static calls. And finally, assignments, instance of, and check cast calls for equal methods. Those are prevalent things to do for the three methods regarding of bytecode generation. Let's analyze Java records by code generation. We also have the three methods to string, has code, and equals. Well, this is interesting. Instead of having the bytecode with the step-by-step -step imperative instruction on executing those three methods, the Java compiler generates an invoke dynamic call, so the implementation of how to perform those three methods is in charge of the JVM. So, what's the difference? Java records can take advantage of the JVM's implementation and future improvements for the two string equals in Haskell methods without recompiling. And that's what we said, in a lot of cases, Kotlin is playing catch up with Java. In other cases, Java is playing catch up with Kotlin. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.